Tommy, I think it was a good effort from the lads today, wasn't it? Maybe the scoreline was a bit flattering to Bradford, but I think we can be a bit proud of that performance, can't we? I'm really proud of the lads and proud of... I said to them before the game, you know, whatever, whatever the result was going to be, you have to leave a memory for the people who've come all the way up from Aldershot, but also the fans here yeah, who would have expected Bradford to walk all over us. We give them, we give them a scare, you know. It, was, it wasn't quite... Um, I didn't think we got what we quite deserved in terms of the chances we created good chances we created first we could have come off probably one more goal to the good mm. you've got to give them credit they've re responded well and I'm, I'm sure Graham's uh, said they had to step it up in the second half and they did so the disappointing thing for me is that we didn't repeat how good we were in the first half in the second half now that's fitness physicality mentality and that's why our lads are in the National League and their lads are in yeah. EFL you said about leaving a moment for the fans. I think Jack Barham's goal was certainly that, wasn't it? Yeah. Just putting us in front. I mean, you ran straight over to the, the fans over there opposite us and it was a good moment, wasn't it? It was lovely. It was a great goal, actually. It was yeah. a good move. Great pass from Josh Barrett. Um, well, I, I, listen, I think first half, we, it, was a, it was a good game. It was, you know, they had their moments, we had their moments. Um, but they, they've been a bit more clinical than us in the second half, you know. He right to the death. I mean, it, even at 1-1. Tyler's had a really good chance and he'd be beating himself up for a few days knowing the lad but he should be proud of the way he's played um, like I said I don't think any one of the starting 11 deserve anything like remotely any criticism for the first half I actually said to them at half time every single player was better than whoever played in their position last week at Hartlepool and we need to repeat that regularly you know um, yeah we can't just get up for the big occasions like this one we need to do it for every game and quite unfortunate, really, in the, the two goals in that for those three minutes, wasn't it? I mean, the, the, the back three, the five, all five of them really there. They, they played so well all game. And then you've got, obviously, Mags has ended up with an own goal to his name. And, and Roland just stood on the ball and it ended up going through and them scoring. But it's just those moments, wasn't it, that just defined it in what yeah. was a good performance. Well, that's the him, difference yeah. between winning and losing games. Yeah. And that's certainly against teams that are above the level that you're playing at. And a lot of my lads in there who are young have got aspirations of playing for them. And I've said to them, the biggest outstanding difference I see is physicality without a shadow of a doubt you know they're, they're, they're big strong whatever age they are they're big they're strong and that's the difference and, and that's why probably most of my lads are where they are and most of their lads are where, where, where they are and Do you think the players will now be better for that experience of coming up against a good League 2 side today? Um, well I think they can see that we're not a million miles away from being able to compete certainly on a one-off basis which I've always felt that was the case anyway I think what I've got is a group who listen um, we work really hard on what we did in the first half for the last few days and I've got to say the lads implemented, implemented the plan really really well um, like I said and we warned them in half time don't change what we were doing but you've, you've got 11 blokes from the other team who were going to try and make, make it different and they did and I think they just got they got one or two little runs of the ball that we didn't in the crucial moments like you said for a couple of goals um, and but I think two of their goals came from free kicks that were really in my opinion mm. could have gone either way with a free kick and we, and we fell on the wrong side of that one so Look, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a proud, yeah, I'm really proud, of, you know, the, of the club. You know, the way we've come up here, conducted ourselves, and I think we've we've done the National League proud. And a, a word for those supporters as yeah. well. It was 438, it was announced Brilliant. at, for such a long journey as well, yeah. fantastic. And I think you can agree, we, we heard mainly only them all game, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I actually heard them singing, I thought this was a library. <laughs> so, yeah, no, look, we, we're very, very appreciative of everybody who supports us, whether, they have, whether they've travelled or not, but... but you know, it's a long old slap from, from North Hampshire to here um, and it's a long old slap back and I'm pleased we give them a moment. I think we give them a few moments actually, but the real moment, obviously Jack's finish was a really good goal um, and it shows we can rub shoulders with the big boys.